Hi guys, if you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Marv Madame here in the flesh. Welcome back to the show. Let's go ahead and keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hello, hello guys. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe, ow. hello fam bams, let's get going. By now... You see the videos that are posted. Thank you very much for being patient with me while I work through this. I am back and ready to go. We will have all of these done before the end of the week. And we are going to be harnessing that new energy for the new month soon. But right now, let's focus on this is going to be your April 2019. How does Bay feel about you or how does the person that you're connecting with feel about you for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And let's get started. Pisces, your person got all types of messages for you. I've been picking up on them. Um, there is an issue that involves trust. There is an issue um, with you trusting, letting go of control issues, let things between you and your partner and unfold naturally. Um, there has been children. There is uh, possibly someone not being honest. The wearing a false mask card. There is a lot that your partner wants you to know. Um, but overall, I get a tremendous amount of love in the pre-shuffle. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. Just to let you know. Um, <clears throat> so for my Libra, Cap, and Taurus, your main energy was pulled by the Golden Universal Tarot, of course. Um, I am keeping that. This is a beautiful deck for the month that I've chosen for the month of April. However, um, your clarifying energy of the main, the main energy was clarified with the good tarot, uh, sorry, the everyday tarot. And while I was on my trip, on my vacation, I went deck shopping with the intention of picking out a deck for May's energy and ended up coming across Miss um, Caitlin Keegan has come out with a new Illuminated Tarot. As you guys know, that is one of my favorite decks. I launched my channel with that deck. And she has created a mini deck, which I love mini decks for clarifying. Um, and for other things, but mainly for clarifying because they're so convenient because they're mini and I can still see the main thing and kind of put images together and so forth. And she has... Two of the illuminated decks in one box, and it's beautiful. I don't know when it came out, but I didn't stumble across it until I was out of states. Okay, blue and then gold. So the main energy is going to be, of course, um, communicated through the beautiful golden universal tarot cards that we've been using, and it's going to be clarified by the illuminated tarot blue. Um, the clarify, I'm sorry, the extension, the extended video for how you feel about how your partner feels, Pisces, is going to be um, communicated through the Morgan Greer deck, which you guys know I love. And we're going to be clarifying Morgan Greer with the Illuminated Tarot in gold. Um, this is a blended deck for some of you guys that don't know. Um, it is. Um, takes the concepts of the uh, playing card divination or cardomancy and mixes that with tarot. And I do both. Look at that. Look at that. I got to take that. Look at that. You see how that just came out? I got to take it. So we're going to go ahead. And since we've already started here, I'm going to stop. Judgment is right there. Again, this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Right off the back, the Ten of Cups has fallen out. Let's go ahead and get your Romance Angel Oracle card. And yes, for the month of April, we did go back to Romance um, Angels or Angel Oracle. And let's go. Show me, Spirit, how does Pisces' partner feel about them? Let me adjust this just a little bit. There we go. How? Something is over here on my neck. Woo! How does Pisces' partner feel? Show me, spirit, about them. Oh, calling in the soulmate. Your partner has been praying 
using affirmations and visualizations to help bring you guys together, Pisces. That's beautiful. You already saw that ten of cups, so we already know where they are. Show me, spirit. How does Pisces partner feel about them? Beautiful energy. Calling in the soulmate. This could be the one. Cancer had this as well. You already met the romantic partner you seek, Pisces. They are saying that you are the one. You are the soulmate that they seek. Okay, I'm telling you that right now. One last card. How does Pisces partner feel about them, spirit? Worth waiting for. And wedding. They both popped over. So I'm going to put worth waiting for on the board and take wedding as a neighboring energy and just simply flip this deck over. Um, we got, hold on, let me, let me shuffle because that didn't get shuffled. We got attraction and then we got retreats. So your neighboring energies is wedding. This situation involves marriage. <laughs> That's everybody. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment, this moment fully. These are neighboring energies. And it's time to disconnect from the world. So Pisces, your partner wants to go on some type of vacation with you. All right. So worth waiting for in wedding. Popped out on top. Sorry. Ooh. Of one another. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, don't fall. All right, let's finish getting these cards. Show me, Spirit. How does Pisces partner feel about them? So we start off with the Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. Hmm, interesting. Ace of Swords. There's definitely water, maybe some air somewhere. Um, swords. Okay, okay. What do we got here? All right, so we got the King of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful cards. Let's see what we got. So your partner, obviously two cards fell out. Oh my God. Look at this two cards so I'm gonna put the ace of cups on the board and then the queen of swords is gonna be a neighboring energy I'm gonna shuffle and get our bottom of the deck and I mean she's gonna be the bottom of the deck energy I'm gonna shuffle for it because we oh my goodness okay So, Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Chariot. And if we want to, we have the Queen of Cups as well, if we want to go down. So, my God, Pisces, how does Bay feel about you? My goodness, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, there has been, I mean, you got three aces, honey. Your partner is beyond in love with you and wants to get married. That's how they feel about you. Now, I can't wait to find out how you feel about this, but, I mean, we got the Ten of Cups. We've already advanced. We got the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So I can pull two different messages out of there. We got three Aces, baby. Look at that. How did your energy of your partner warrant all three of the Aces? We have an Ace for Love. Okay. We have an Ace for a New Truthful Beginning. A uh, new beginning that is very loving and emotional, and which will bring forth emotional balance. We also have a new passionate beginning. Um, there are going to be some truth. There's going to be some truth here. We do have that Queen of Swords right there, and there's going to be a lot of communication with her. I don't necessarily think that it's bad communication, but it's going to be some communication. It's going to be truthful. With the way that the cards are aspecting this queen, I don't get anything wrong here. 
Um, but there's definitely going to be some things going on that's going to be said. And it's going to be from a moment of, from a, a point, per, a truthful perspective. Um, we have our king at the, I mean, our queen here. We have two queens. That's going to be pulling down the energy of emotion. That's also pulling down the emotion of um, very communicative boundary, setting the stage and being truthful um, and giving that queens. I mean, she she yields that sort of truth. So um, it's coming. So Pisces, if you were unsure, if you were wondering, um, this person obviously wants to marry you. They're in love with you. Why do I say marriage? Because here is the wedding card. Okay, the chariot being here, there has been some stagnancy at some point. This is Cancerian energy. This is a water on water connection. Um, there is earth, a little bit of earth here. There, what do we have? We have um, fire, we have earth, we have pentacles, and we have water. So we have everything. You are the magician, basically. There's going to be a change in fortune, which lets me believe with the Wheel of Fortune and this Ace of Cups. Um, and then I'm looking at the Chariot and I'm looking at the Ten of Cups. There is going to be something that really pushes this over the edge. Um, there, as far as taking it to the next level, everybody's getting the same energy. This could be the one. This was a Cancer card. Worth waiting for was also, if I'm not mistaken, in Cancer's neighboring energy. So Pisces, you're definitely connecting with water Cancer's Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay? You definitely have the Wheel of Fortune in here. You have the King of Pentacles. You got three aces, the Ten of uh, Cups. I, I mean, I can't even make it up. It's like you're reading yourself here. There's going to be a, a passionate beginning. Um, Pisces, either you or your partner, I mean, I have to pull these out. This is a water sun and a water moon. This is a water sun, okay, that you're connecting with, with an air moon. There is a water sun with a fire moon. Um, there's definitely cancer here. There is definitely cancer in all up in this. So Pisces, if you're connecting with the cancer, you guys are about to have the level up talk. Um, I can't wait to find out how you feel, but I think this person has been doing the work. This person has been doing affirmations. This person has been practicing visualizations. This person's possibly getting tarot readings. This person is on it. And everything that they're trying to do in their time is to bring you up to the level so they can make sure that you guys are vibrating the same. It's no question that they want to move forward. Um, I see this Ten of Cups and I see this Ace of Cups. Like I said, this is marriage. Like this is what they want. They want forever. I mean, my God. I am about uh, three for three. Like everything today, every video has been this, doing, has been giving me the exact same energy, but a little bit different. With yours, um, there has not been some truth that has been um, here in the past. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here, which lets me believe that this Ten of Cups, we started out as a wanting that, and then we advanced to the Ace. There's been some stagnancy. There's been some issues with truth. There's been some issues with possibly hiding emotions. There's been some mirroring going on. I would not put that past you. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. I feel like there's a need to want to move forward. Um, but this 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 uh, queen is speaking to me right now. There's going to be, there's a lapse in communication in this. Um, that, I mean, nothing's perfect. And I feel, oh, thank you, gee. I feel as if, um, yeah, look, look what fell face up. That's what lets me know. The moon or the eight of hearts or the eight of cups. I mean, I feel like this is a good time to go ahead and just uh, take that because out of all of the cards that just fell, they all fell face down with the exception of this. And now this is the eight of cups, but in this particular case, it's the moon. So Pisces, this is your card. And I'm going to take that as a clarify for this Ten of Cups because I feel like that's the problem. There has been a fluctuation of emotions. I personally feel like this person has been mirroring your energy because this energy that I'm looking at, I see that the offer is ready to be made with this King of Pentacles. But I feel like the King of Pentacles being in the center of moving forward and having a change of fortune and being truthful with this Ace of Swords, a new truthful beginning with the Ten of Cups. 
this is what lets me know that someone had to really um, kind of go in, Pisces, that you are um, connecting with and reevaluate what their perception of love was because I feel like they, they're they mirroring you um, with the moon not really showing. And I also know that off the bat, that's a, that's, that's a water sign. This is a water on water connection. And there has been stagnancy but they've been working hard to try to clear all of the blocks out. I feel like they had, oh my, they had to really let go of things that no longer serve them because there's been a whole lot of, um, of things that they may have wanted to happen that did not happen in the time. There's been um, some impatience in this connection. There's been trust issues in this connection as well. Um, for us to have a new truthful beginning, that means that there has been some things that have not been said between you guys, okay? And I feel like this moon card definitely lets me know. Um, and I know that this is Cancer also up in here because I already have the chariot that is a Cancer Major Arcana. All right, and this is the Ace of Swords, okay? And then what's clarifying that was the judgment, the Ten of Spades. And or Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords by itself just meaning that it's just it got to the point where mentally it was such a burden. And um, by this being blended, this makes sense to me that the um, illustrator slash author of the deck would do that because you have to be pushed to a certain extent in order to become truthful. And I feel like there has been, you know, there's been something and the judgment call finally came down, Pisces. Oh my, they are jumping, jumping. And I feel like, you know, that's exactly what happened. The burden, the mental burden became too much to bear. They, they, they had to go within and walk away from things that no longer served them and finally come clean about what they wanted. I don't think that it was ever a question as to how this person felt about you. But I think that even with them being open, there's always something that they haven't shared with you, Pisces. Clarify this 10 of um, this, this uh, King of Pentacles. But I'm telling you right now, whatever they were going through personally, the judgment came down. Both of these are face down. I'm not taking them because there were two. Um, clarify this King of Pentacles. And I feel like the offer is here now. You know, how does this look? Uh, you know, how does this wedding look? What do, you know, you are the one. I've called you in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The Seven of Cups. This is exactly what it was. Figuring out what options were viable. Clarifying here my King of Pentacles. So, I saw this in the cancer video of you're connecting with a cancer. I'm going to bring that narrative up. But basically, somebody felt like that there were there was options. And um, I feel like Pisces, if this is how they felt about you, this is how they feel about you. They felt like you have options. And when they wanted to take this to the next level and express how they felt about you up front, I, I am the Ten of Cups with you. I am in love with you. You pulled back and went into the eight. They started to mirror you, meaning the moon, which is the eight of cups. And there was some shedding that needed to take place forcefully and only because the other one was doing it and no one wanted to be out there on their own. Okay. And then what's clarifying my will of fortune is the seven of pentacles. Um, and I believe that this is a major arcana, if I'm not mistaken. This is the sun. Let me check. So the clarification, yes. The, no, this isn't the sun. This is the star. I'm sorry. They look alike. Let me get it. Let me get it. And I feel as if, where are we? There we go. Yes, the star, hope, healing, and optimism, the seven of diamonds. So the seven of pentacles being here. And I'm feeling like, you know, that's clarifying the will of fortune, clarifying the will of fortune. So a change of fortune that will in turn heal you at the same time. I can't even make this up. Um, two sevens here, meaning choices and confusion. The seven of hearts and the seven of diamonds. Think about that. 
I mean, the seven of pentacles. Waiting on your ships to come in. Pisces, your person felt like you had options and therefore they held back how they felt to kind of see if you would catch up to them, okay? In the meantime, they had to really curb how they was how they were feeling. And in the process of doing that, they decided that they would take a step back and go within. And your wishy-washy kind of in and out type of uh, mentality made them feel like instead of you making the offer that you had options, which in turn is a very confusion, a confusing energy because this person that you're connecting with could be water on water, but I don't feel like it's Pisces on Pisces. If it is a Pisces on Pisces connection, Pisces, then I feel like somebody has a different moon. Personality wise, you guys are great together. But when it comes down to a um, an issue between wants versus needs, there is a disconnect. And that is what caused the confusion. So in turn, the will of fortune is saying that the spirit is telling you that the fortune will change in this relationship. And then there's going to be a new emotional beginning and then an overflowing of love with this ace of cups, which I'm going to clarify in a second. Remember, you got three, ace, uh, three aces here. But... I feel like that seven of diamonds, um, you invested, um, the seven of pentacles, you waited and you, 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 you put your roots down with the, and one in the situation in this relationship to blossom. And the blended message here is hope, healing, and optimism because the seven of diamonds and, or seven of pentacles in this deck is also the star card. So we have Aquarian energy here. Hope, healing, and optimism, which is clarifying our will of fortune. Beautiful energy. Clarify this Ace of Cups. And I feel like that's what's happened here. This um, this, this wishy-washy in and out, you know, the moon. Yes. This is going to be a conversation. This is the inner strength that's needed with the Two of Wands. This is you having to go within and really do exactly what you need to do for inner strength, okay? Very, very similar to what Cancer had um, and how their person needed to talk about them. So this makes sense because Cancer um, also had this and then there was a question that needed to be asked. But in the blended meaning of this, you know, this is, you know, planning, inner strength and, and working up. That's clarifying this Ace of Cups. So someone needed to gather the strength, Pisces to work through all of these energies. And now there's going to be a conversation or there was a conversation because this blended meaning is also a passionate conversation or debate. Some type of conversation took place, which is clarifying the Ace of Cups. Um, the overflowing of love, maybe if you guys resonated with that, that conversation launched this, I don't know. But remember, wedding is here. Call it in your soulmate. This could be the one worth waiting for. Then we have attraction and retreat. I can't even make this up. So the bottom energy is, yes, in the past, there has been a four of cups. Um, and I feel like that's exactly what was going on, Pisces. They felt like this is what you were doing. They were trying to hand you the cup and you were looking away. Um, but this is your other ace. So right now, you got the ace of cups. You got... The Ace of Swords, you got the Ace of Wands, and here's your Ace of Pentacles. You got four Aces, baby. So I'm telling you that this is also the world, if I'm not mistaken. This is also a ma the major arcana for the world. So you got the Star. You got, um, these are the major arcana. You got the Moon. You got Judgment. You got the Star. You And now you got the world. This is an excellent reading. Like, oh my God, you got three aces and one, two, three major arcana. Like, oh my, not to mention the major arcana energy that's in your, in, in the bottom of the deck with the chariot. Oh my goodness. Spirit has definitely heard your prayers. And this is going, this is a forever commit, a, a forever connection, Pisces. Um, I see wedding. I can't make every one of them the exact same thing, but I'm telling you, you just saw me pull these cards and this is just absolutely amazing. Yes, the Ace of Diamonds is definitely the world. There's a trip coming up. You guys are going to take this retreat. 
you're going on a vacation. Um, if there's a proposal for some of you guys, the proposal is going to take place on a vacation. Water. And then this is the Seven of Wands. This makes sense, being very vigilant, being very diligent, okay? Um, this is also aggressiveness and defiance, okay? Kind of feeling like you're getting it from all ends with the Seven of Wands here. So that's the clarifying energy. Um, this is beautiful. Like, this is, this is forever. This is a couple of forevers, and that's what I'm going to call this. That's what your partner wants, Pisces, a couple of forevers. Oh, my God, you guys are killing me. They did the work, Pisces. So come hell the high water, baby. They're going to get you. The choice has been made. You have been chosen. Um, they manifested you. Absolutely. Nothing but aces. Nothing but major arconic energy between you and this person. They did the, they did the work, boo. So you can't be mad at them for that. They stuck with you through whatever you were giving them. And they have done the work. And now the universe is going to reward them. So your partner wants a couple of forevers. That's what I'm going to call this. Um, and I, I'm, I'm hoping to see in your energy and to see to how you feel about this is to really get a good sense of what has kept you so stagnant. Um, I know that there's been a fluctuation of emotions with this moon. I know that that moon is going to come back out. I can feel it in my heart. I hope that I'm able to clarify why, though. I, I feel like I'm calling it right now just to give you a peek. Um, for those of you who won't be purchasing the extended, I'm telling you that um, this person is afraid. Pisces has been afraid. They have trauma from a previous relationship and some more things that's going on. I guarantee that's going to come out, so... You know, um, if you don't want to purchase the extension, that's what's been the issue. Um, but that has been your reading, Pisces. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need will be down in the description. The past month's extensions, if you want to follow the progression um, of how these videos have been going. You want the extended readings for April. You can go ahead and click the link down there and you can have access to all of this. Um, if you want to get your astrology um, the astro snips are down below. Um, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn all being in retrograde. All of that is below if you have time. When I get done with all of the videos, I will go back and timestamp them if I have time because I know that they're long um, and try to give you guys um, a timestamp. I didn't have time, okay? I had to do a lot of things to try to gear up for my vacation. Um, the Divine Energy Oracle Message. Link down below. The love yourself affirmations for the sign of Pisces. Link back down below. If you want to book personal time with me, that's fine. I forgot to say this too. If you want to go underneath this video and purchase your Zodi mug, which I don't have right here, but I do have. Um, if you take a picture with that mug, once it comes, send it to me at readings at marvelousmadam.com. That email address is in the description. I will send you a token of my appreciation for supporting the channel and you will be able to redeem that toward a future personal reading with moi. So I'm going to get out of here because I got to get this extended popping. But if you need anything else, you know how to hit me up. Bye Pisces. See you next month.